The region's most advanced early civilization was the Khmer. From the 800s AD to the mid-1200s, the Khmer controlled a large empire in what is now Cambodia. The remains of Agnar Wat, a huge temple complex the Khmer built in the 1100s, reflects the advanced civilization in Hindu culture. In the 1200s, the Thai from southern China settled in the Khmer area. Around the same time, Buddhism, introduced earlier from India and Sri Lanka, began replacing Hinduism in the region. As in many parts of the world, European powers started colonizing Southeast Asia during the 1500s. Led by Portugal, European powers came to the region in search of spices and trade goods. In 1521, Ferdinand Magellan reached the Philippines and claimed this island for Spain. The Spaniards who followed came to colonize trade and spread Catholicism. This is why today much of that country remains Roman Catholic and speaks Spanish. In the 1600s and 1700s, Dutch traders drove the Portuguese out of the region. Portugal only remained in control of the small island of Timor. The Dutch, however, gained control of the tea and spice trade in what became known as the Dutch East Indies, now called Indonesia. In the 1800s, the British and French set up colonies. Many people from China and India came to work in the colonies. The British and French spread Christianity as well, especially in eastern Indochina. In 1898, the United States entered the region when it won the Philippines from Spain in the Spanish-American War. By the early 1900s, colonial powers ruled much of the region. Only Siam, now known as Thailand, was never colonized. In World War II, Japan invaded and occupied most of Southeast Asia. But after Japan lost the war, the United States gave the Philippines independence, and soon, other people in the region began to fight for their independence. One of the bloodiest wars for independence was in the French area of Indochina. In 1954, the French finally left. Indochina split into independent countries, Laos, Cambodia, and Vietnam. By 1970, most of Southeast Asia had thrown off colonial rule. The move towards independence was not easy. In Vietnam, the fighting to oust the French left the country divided between North and South. A civil war broke out between the communist North Vietnamese and the nationalist South. The United States sent troops in to defend the South. The U.S. based its decision to send troops on a criterion known as the Domino Theory. And this was the belief that if one country fell to communism, all other countries nearby would also fall like dominoes. Years of war caused millions of deaths and had terrible destruction. In the end, North and South Vietnam reunited as the communists conquered the rest of the country. As the communists took over, one million refugees fled Vietnam and most went to the United States. Civil wars also raged in Cambodia and Laos. In 1975, communist fight forces took over both countries, and the government in Cambodia was brutal, causing the deaths of more than one million people. Fighting continued in the re this region of Indochina until the mid-1990s. The United Nations finally helped Cambodia achieve. The countries of Southeast Asia have many ethnic groups. As an example, Indonesia has more than 300 ethnic groups. Most of the countries have one main ethnic group, a smaller one. Not surprisingly, many languages are spoken throughout the region. These languages include native languages and dialects, Chinese, and other European languages. In terms of religion, Buddhism, Christianity, Hinduism, and Islam dominate the region. Buddhism is the main faith on the mainland. This is where you'll find beautiful wats or Buddhist temples. Islam is found mostly in the region of Malaysia, Brunei, and Indonesia. In the Philippines, most people are Roman Catholic, and Hinduism is practiced in Indian communities on the island of Bali and throughout Myanmar. The customs of the region will vary widely. Customs like dance and music are very popular throughout the region. In addition, many people will wear traditional clothing such as sarongs, which are strips of cloth worn and wrapped around the body. 